Introducing GetFit, your ultimate health and workout partner. GetFit is an easy to use teachable fitness tracker with the capability of detecting an endless variety of exercises. Powered by Odino Nano 33 BLE Sense and Edge Gimbals, it is a completely open source project. Hey what's up, this is Mineo from Goras Cafe and we are a team working on popularizing technology for everyone through innovative projects. Are you a tech lover? Please subscribe to our channel to see more innovations like this. Now it's time for the build, let's get working. For doing this project we are using Audino Nano 33 BLE Sense. It's a 3.3V A-enabled board in the smallest available form factor. It comes with a series of embedded sensors. Here we are utilizing the LSM 90S1 sensor for counting the activities. To create a machine learning model, you would traditionally use a framework like a TensorFlow or Scikit-learn on a top of a high-level language like Python. But here we are going to use a tool called Edgimbles as it just makes the model training much easier. Every machine learning model needs data. For the acquiring the data, we structure to the data acquisition tab in Edgimbles and also make sure device is connected to the studio. In this prototype, we are only counting the activities such as push-ups, squats and arm circles. Feel free to add your own workouts. Let's start with the push-up motion. Before that, we made a temporary setup for attaching the Odino to my arms with a couple of firing ties and sponge. Then we started sampling the data for 8 seconds and repeated it a plenty of times in different orientations at different speeds. The more data you have, the better your model becomes. This process is repeated for remaining motions such as squats and arm circles. Also, we took the idle state by doing nothing. So we have collected 12 minutes of train data and 4 minutes of test data. You can see the raw data of every class, that's the XYZ values of the accelerometer data. The data acquisition is over, it's time for feature extraction. To generate features, we first need to create an impulse. After saving our impulse, let's generate the features for the data. Finally, we are one step back in training the model. We changed some neural network settings and architecture to make the model very robust. Then we started training, which takes a while to complete. Our model training is finished. Let's check the accuracy and confusion metrics of our model. Yeah, the model hits 93% accuracy which seems awesome. Again we train the model which is meant to be recognizing the anomalies during the workouts. So we have successfully trained our model, let's classify the test data and see how it works on the new data. Yeah, it's working very well with the test data and we are good to go. For digging deeper into this, please check out the project link which is given in the description. It's time to deploy the model in the BLE sense. Click on the Audino library and then on the bottom click on the build button. This will start a process where Edgimbles creates a library for your Audino board that has the ML model you have trained. These are the sample codes that bind our machine learning model. So we need to modify this code for tracking out the workouts. You can find the entire modified code in the GitHub repo. For sending the data to the cloud, utilizing the Bluetooth low energy of 33 BLE sense. The device will actually send the data to the phone via Bluetooth and then the phone forwards this data to the Firebase and that's our database in this project. To make GetFit a standalone device, we are using a LiPo battery with a capacity of 160mAh. These batteries can provide up to only 4.2V when it is fully charged. But the input voltage for the Audino should be in the range 5 to 12 volt. To deal with this complication, we are using a voltage boost converter module that provides 5 volt DC stable voltage output at various input range between 1.5 volt to 5 volt. The charge controller used here in the circuit is TP4056 by changing the R programming resistor from 1.2K to 10K. 
for matching the battery capacity. For controlling the current flow, we also included an SPDT switch in the circuit. You can find the entire circuit in the project documentation. Then we went ahead and made a decent housing for the GetFit with the Fusion 360. We used a blue and white color combination for the design to make it more appealing. These are the 3D printed parts which we designed earlier. The buckles were not found in the cheap amount in stores, that's why we printed that as well. The design is actually meant for the arms, as an armband. The hook and loop mechanism is used as the fasteners along with the half inch elastic band. So any person can wear this band by easily adjusting the strap. After connecting the voltage booster with the BLE sense and switch, we can insert this into the case. Then we made the remaining connections by attaching the charge controller. Then by attaching the lead, our device is ready to wear. This is the companion app developed by means of the HTML, CSS and JS for our get fit band. In future updates, we'll be adding a heart rate sensor, galvanic skin response sensor and a plenty of AI to give you more clear analytics of your workout. That's all for now. See you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.